Hello, welcome to another video. If you've been on this channel for a while, you will know that whenever we solve a limits problem, I usually would use this if it has to do with trig and it's possible to manipulate the expression to get the answer rather than use L'Hopital's rule. But recently I solved a problem that I could have used one of these manipulations or what I call trig um, limit identities to solve, but I used L'Hopital's rule and it got more complicated. And thanks to one of the subscribers, I don't know how to say the name. And then I went back and sat down and I began to graph. I'm gonna show you the graphs that I typed in to Desmos. And I noticed that all of these are true. And if you just wanna verify any of these, just apply L'Hopital's rule to the top and the bottom and you'll see that all of these are true. So this is number one. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I will just write them and show you what I did on the graph and that would be all. Let's get into it. So this is number one and I'm gonna show you what number two is. Well, number two is basically something just like this, as x goes to zero, I'm gonna flip this, this x over sine x. I'm sure you already know this because I always talk about this every time. Now let's go to the third one. The third one is what you saw in the thumbnail, which is this, the limit, as x goes to zero of arc sine. Hey, it's gonna be this, arc sine of x divided by x is equal to one. If you're having any doubts, I'm gonna clear your doubts when I show you what the graph looks like for all of these functions. Now let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one is just gonna be the flipped version also. The limit as x goes to zero of x over arc sine x, your answer will also be one. And clearly, if you apply L'Hopital's rule to each of these, you'll find out that your answer will always be one. But you don't need to wait for L'Hopital's rule because as soon as you see them in any problem you're solving, you can always manipulate. And remember the rule for this one, it doesn't have to be x, it could be anything as long as what is under here is going to zero and that same thing is what is the argument of the function and it's also going to zero, your answer is gonna be one. So let's go to number five. Number five is something strange. Limit as x goes to zero. Not strange, we've used it before. Oh, the more than seven. More than seven. Similar to this. Same thing, number six. The limit as x goes to zero of x over 10x. Lots of ones here, right? Also, number seven, the limit as x goes to zero of arctan of x over x is equal to one. Can I add one more here? Yes, number eight, we're gonna flip this. It is the limit as x goes to zero of x over arctan of x is equal to one. Now look at what I've written. All of these are all one. All the limits are one. Beautiful, right?
I got three more to go. And the three you already know. So let's go. Number nine. Something we've used before. It is the limit as x goes to zero of one minus cosine x over x. This is equal to zero. So this is the zero territory right now. Okay, and we go to 10. It is, uh, we don't flip in this case. It is the limit as x goes to zero of cosine x minus one over x equals zero. So remember whether this is comes before this or this comes before this, as long as it is the same x going to zero, you're gonna get zero. And the last one is the limit as x goes to zero of x over inverse cosine of x minus one. You cannot flip these ones as you, this is equal to zero. So you can't flip all of these ones because it will become undefined. Um, the reason we could flip these ones is because the graph actually is still defined. So we got 12, which makes it like the 12 disciples, apostles, 12 um, tribes, whatever you call it. Okay, the 12th one is the same thing. Limit as x goes to zero of x over one minus the inverse cosine of x is gonna be equal to zero. So there are four zeros and eight ones. Just, this is easy for you to remember, so when you see a complicated problem, you can solve it, okay? Now, I would recommend that you go back to the video that I did on, there was a video of this problem. It was the limit as x goes to, I think it was zero, yeah, of arctan x squared over x sine x. You would not need L'Hopital's rule to do this. I think in two lines, if you apply the things we have seen here, plus these ones, you'll be able to answer this question by splitting them and putting an x squared here, okay? Like I said, this was prompted by um, one of my subscribers on this channel, and I had to go back and look at it, and yes, the person was right. And this is a lot easier than L'Hopital's rule. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.